So this bit here coming out of here in this row, look at this place gonna light up. I love this. That feeling, the smell of the pitch when you walk out like this and tally, the, the environment will change if you get the three points here. It's huge, huge risk. Well, Man United up for it, we will find out the players as you've just seen are out here at Turfmore. So it's time to join your commentary team. Ali Van Hoyt is alongside Adam Summerton. Good evening guys. Good evening everyone, sold out to more, ready to be entertained and improving Burnley seek their first Premier League win of the season. Manchester United know they need to stop the rot and stop it soon. So a check on the teams. Burnley have already used 23 players in the Premier League this day's 1-1 draw at Forest. So into the side comes summer signing Aaron Ramsey, who makes his first Premier League start for the Clarets. It's his 50th club career appearance. Burnley have, on average, the youngest starting lineup in the Premier League this season. Alongside me this evening, delighted to say I have Ali McCoist, who's had a look at the tactical setup. Absolutely, Adam. I think the problem is um, goals again from Burnley. I thought they were unlucky, I have to say, against Forest and could have won the game. But um, they are starting a little bit. They're finding it tough and it's going to be a tough one for them tonight. Having said that, you know, Forrest have been getting the red card. Clearly didn't do them any favours. But is there a good team to play Manchester United? It might just be tonight for Burnley. Well, there's good and bad news on the injury front for Manchester United. Available again and on the bench are Raphael Varane and Sofian Amrabat. who will hope to make his debut. Lissandro Martinez, though, has joined a lengthy injury list. Johnny Evans makes his first Premier League start for United since 2015. It's a first of the season for Hannibal. And there's also a recall for Scott McTominay, Christian Eriksen and Facundo Pellistri move to the bench. Yeah, we mentioned it before, and it was going to be interesting. The recall of Johnny Evans, obviously, big, big news. But which centre forward will he be playing against? We're not sure, really, at the Burnley side, looking at it, who will be the number nine. But from United's point of view, they just have to stop the rot. They're not in a good run. They've been leaking goals defensively. The boys have seen it beforehand. They've been poor. I think they've lost 16 goals so far this season, which is not good enough. We initially think we'll start with a diamond, with Fernandes at the top of the diamond, but we'll know as soon as the game kicks off. A lot of excitement around Luca Coliosho after his performance at the City Ground on Monday. He won the under-19 Euro with Italy over the summer. Was impressive in that as well. Another exciting youngster on view is Hannibal of Manchester United brought in for his energy, according to Eric Ten Hag. It's only his second Premier League star. Big evenings for both of those young players. Listening to Vincent Company ahead of this game, you really do get the feeling he feels that his side are starting to click now. Eric Ten Hag says his team can come out of this difficult period stronger than before, so long as they all stick together. Everyone is united and ready to fight, he says. But this evening will be a very big test of that. Turf Moor home to companies, Clarets, young, vibrant and full of ambition. They're improving too as Monday at the City Ground showed. Now comes a visit from one of the Premier League's biggest names, from Bavaria to Burnley for Manchester United. Their season yet to truly get going. Four defeats from six games has seen pre-season positivity fade. How they need to stem the tide. Points and positivity are much needed at Old Trafford right now. But Ali, this is a really good atmosphere, a sold out to more a proper old English stadium. There's so much to look forward to here. Adam, I love it. I've got to say, I do love it. Not the easiest gantry to get into, I have to inform you. <laughs> uh, it's uh, quite uh, close. Yeah,